Hi, this is Nick. Today I'm making a retirement plaque for a gentleman retiring from the Georgia Department of Transportation. This piece is made out of a glued up uh, panel made of Aspen. It's a pretty soft board, but I chose it because it has a very clean uh, grain pattern, very clear, no knots. A lot of times they're making a piece of art or a plaque that has a lot of carving and detail. The, the wood grain can actually detract from the overall look of the piece. My compound miter saw wasn't quite a bit large enough to uh, cut the piece in one pass. So here I'm flipping the board over, lining up the cut with the, uh, the saw blade, just so I can cut the last few inches off. Now it's on to the machine. So this project uses a 90 degree V-bit for 99% of the, the carving. The first step was to put a nice deep chamfer around the perimeter of the piece, and now it's cutting the perimeter of the state of Georgia. So now the buckle of carving begins, and it's carving every county in the state of Georgia. There's 159 counties in Georgia, second only to the state of Texas. Now I zero off near the bottom of the plaque so I can be sure that the material thickness doesn't negatively affect the quality of the logo or the text I'm carving. When you're doing V-carving on very small, very fine details, it's important that the material thickness does not change. And here I do it again on the right side where I engrave a compass rose. It's very fine detail and I was afraid that material had any kind of crown, it would have uh, not looked very well. Now I've changed a bit to a quarter inch end mill. It's carving the piece around the edge and it's actually carving outside that original chamfer. Now that the, the carving is done, I flip it over and use a handsaw and cut the tabs so I can free the, the piece from the carrier board. I use a formal sander to set, smooth off the edges, take up some of those fuzzies, and also sand down the tabs that are remaining part of this board. Now I've turned the board over to perform the last CNC operation. I'm using a T-slot router bit to put a T-slot in the back of the panel so it can be hung up using a nail or a screw. I did the final sanding and I'm using a pick to clean out any debris that's uh, stuck in the V-groove channel. There wasn't many in the counties, but that deep groove around the edge seemed to hold a lot. Now I've changed over to an X-Acto knife to cut some of the larger pieces free. And it takes a lot of time just to go through, but the, uh, the end result is worth it. I'm applying one coat of stain on the back side, wait 10 minutes or so, and dry wipe it off. And repeat the process on the front. After this coat of stain had dried, I went back and did a few touch-ups where I saw that uh, maybe a letter didn't get filled with stain or one of the counties was missing a small piece in the corner. 
pretty simple project, but it took a long time to get the data in order and the actual carving took quite a long time. Thanks for watching.